hey guys what is going on so today we are finally putting on the rear view camera on the jeep super easy install so let's get started to install rear view camera you need obviously the video connection and then you're gonna need power to it powering ground when i installed my atoto radio so i ran the cable for the camera here and i just left it here dangling but i'm gonna stick it up and into this area here so this has this panel here and i just pulled it off with my hands you want to pull it towards that way and it'll just pop right out on this plug here you're gonna see a purple and black wire and then a solid black wire which is like behind there those two are the ones you're gonna want to t-tap into to connect these two right here those are the ones that control the reverse lights on your tail light so whenever you put it in reverse the camera will turn on so the first step is to remove this uh, panel here so i can run the wiring and it's easy just four phillip head screws right there right there and then you can just pull the panel off and also make sure you take off these clips here um they're really easy just press it in and pull it out well i can't do it with one hand i need both so i can press it and pull it at the same time but they come out easy just don't forget to take them out and then the wire for this i'm gonna run through the boot here down out this way here and yeah connect it so i'll show you how i do it guys i lied it's actually five screws there's one back here now i just gotta pull it off Make sure to break all the clips. <laughs> there you go. That's it. He didn't break a clip, right? Just, just letting <laughs> it out. break one. <laughs> he broke two. No, these are already broken from last time. Oh, okay, you heard it here from last time? So last time. To be able to run the wire from here into the tailgate, we have to take off these bolts, which are eight millimeters. And then I'm going to remove the top here, which are 10 mil, so I can put the camera on. So there's this rubber piece here, and you might have to cut a slit bigger just to fit the cables through, but I'm running it now, and I'm gonna take these bolts off so I can go ahead and mount it. And on this camera, I don't know about the ones that you guys are gonna get, but this one, I'll link it down below in the, in the description. The cable goes up, that way it shows the picture, you know, correctly on the screen. So we got it on now, and I ran it through this little hole that I made last time for the LED pod lights. But I mean, that doesn't look bad. You can barely notice it once the hatch is down. And also, as you can tell, it's covering up the month and the year. So I think I'm gonna cut this plastic off right there and right here and just get like a metal plate. That way it doesn't move with all the vibrations from the Jeep. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as this, no biggie. Now under here for the wiring. So we ran it here and I'm gonna run it down this side. And I connected the power piece here with some electrical tape just so it doesn't become loose over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie that all the way down and get it through the boot. I ran the cables, I connected them here with these tabs. I know these aren't great tabs, but it's just what I thought would work best. I didn't have any T-tabs, so I just used that. Um, and we ran it up across here. And in this rubber boot, I actually cut a slit. So I'm gonna seal that up with some like rubber sealant. And I cut a slit up here too. I could not get it through the boot. It was super hard. Um, since I already ran the cables for the pods, it was just too tight. So I just cut the slits, no biggie. Um, got it out through the hole here. With I put a zip tie in through there to this hole and just pulled it out. Now I'm gonna run uh, the power cables and the camera cable to these right here. So I'm gonna, you know, route it out, make it look nice. So it's a little bit easier to see now. So when I put it in reverse, it turns into the camera and I'll show you guys how I did that and also you see these lines there's a cable and I'll show you what I'm talking about where if you cut it the lines go away so let me show you that so here's my wiring <laughs> you guys can judge me all you want I don't care this is a cable that comes from the camera and on here there's a white cable that is looped around and I cut it just to see what it was for I thought it was for some LED lights that are on there but if you could disconnect this it'll actually take away the red and yellow and green lines that are on the camera so if you don't want those lines i would say cut that but i wanted them so i left it twisted together for the moment just because i was figuring out what it was and then i put tape over the connection here just so it wouldn't get loose over time um, this is for the power and the power i ran again from the purple purple wire with the black stripe right here and then the black wire for negative for ground um, I guess you could get ground from the chassis itself, but I wanted to run direct power to it. And then this cable here is the one that goes to the radio. So on the radio itself, on the back of it, there's a connection called RCIN. So I believe it stands for rear camera in. And I connected it there and that's what worked to actually pop up. So on the cable that comes from the radio all the way over here, which is this yellow one, 
there is a red wire that goes to it and you want to give that red wire power. So on the video output wire, there's that little red wire and I connected that one to the positive for the reverse lights as well. That way, whenever I put it in reverse, it actually turns on the camera on the screen. Automatically turns it into the rear view camera on the screen. And it also mutes the volume when you're in reverse, so that's pretty cool. So now that everything is all tightened up and buttoned up, I will go ahead and put the panel back on. I think I'm just gonna do a little cleaning job because it's kind of dirty, but uh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna put it back together and it should be solid. Another thing you could do probably is on the purple with black and the black wire here, you could do the LED pods. That way when you go in reverse, it'll turn on with the reverse or attach it to a relay. That way it can work with the reverse and then it's on the switch as well. But I think I want to do that eventually just so I can have brighter lights in reverse. Not gonna lie, this panel is actually kind of hard to get back in, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. You have to line up underneath, there's like a little pin. So it has to go straight in that hole and they have to get it under the rubber seal and hopefully line everything up. So I recommend having another friend for this, but you can totally do it yourself. Start with one side and you have to make sure these wires right here are lined up with these grooves. And I push one side up and then it should all fit. Some of my clips are broken, so don't worry about that. Just keep pushing it up over here. Other clips right there. And like I said, make sure the wire is in the little groove. And you should be good now. Remember to connect these plugs back in uh, with the clip on the outside. There we go. And don't break them. <laughs> you can easily break them, so. There we go. Now we just have to put the screws in and we should be good to go. So we got all the trim back on there. Um, I did break something up here, but it's not the clip itself. So it's still holding on good. We put the top back on. So now we are good to go with the camera. So the camera's a pretty easy install. It's just one cable and you have to find power and ground. That's it. You can do it with either, you know, like the radio that I have there, or you can find little screens that go on the rear view mirror. So whatever way you decide to put it, really easy to do. The hardest part I would say is it's really hard to run the wires through this. So I'm going to just wrap it with some like rubber so water doesn't get in there. But other than that, pretty easy install. So if this video did help you at all, just make sure to leave a like down below and share it with a friend because that helps me out a lot. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.